Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Fishkeeping Jamaica. The sun is really hot. It's about 31 degrees and I am on my back porch and sharing you today's commentary. I supposed to be very short. I did a kind of commentary a bit and I during the course of the week at school, at work, and I um I actually share that with you i think it was last night uh today is just a quick notation as to particular issue in which i wish to address now many persons go on vacation i myself is considering one right and when you go on a vacation you have your fish whether it be a one tank two tank ten tank twenty tank pounds like i went to a pet shop this week right and a lady was looking for what I call it a vacation food you know for those persons who are not aware don't want to try to get aware because this is what I'm actually gonna be talking about the implications of that that's the negative implications right okay so I went to the pet shop and I saw the lady buying vacation food the vacation food for those persons who don't know it's something what look like a big thick piece of stone that you actually put into the tank and you can leave your fish for a good bit two weeks three weeks without actually feeding it right you get this at the pet store so i nearly get in trouble because you know my 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 pet shop the pet shop in which i deal with um we have a good relationship but regardless to the um regards to the relationship we still have this aspect of our business so um she was there considering which of the vacation food to buy so i thought that she was gonna actually go on an actual vacation but this is what she was gonna do she was um in the decision mode up to say um listen I can't be bothered every day I am feeding fish I just want to put something there and the only thing I have to do probably change water every three months and I was like really lady and she continued she said she just wants something to put in there so the fish can actually you know survive so I asked um how often do you do water change she said probably once every three months and the tank is very small it's a big goal i said to her that um before she actually use the vacation food she should one clean out the tank ensure that the tank is you know nicely you know well clean water right clean out the tank put the vacation food in it and as soon as she comes from vacation she actually clean the tank again and change practically 90 95 percent of the water then she said that no she's not going on a vacation she just wanted that so as to you know help her to manage her time wisely well help her to manage her time so that she won't miss out on any other activities because she will be losing activities if she was to feed the fish on a regular basis now this is the problem i have with vacation food vacation food does not really allow the fish to well not really vacation food in totality it does not give the fish the food to eat the fish doesn't nibble on it what happens is that the nutrients that the fish needs the minerals that the fish needs everything that the fish needs is within that little stone that dissolves in the water so the fish will actually take in the water and the nutrients and the minerals that it needs will actually be absorbed by the fish so no eating will actually no physical eating by the fish would actually occur however if the filtration system is not really all that good or uh, better yet uh, if the filtration system is not yeah it's not all that good what will happen is that there will be a massive buildup of ammonia nitrates and nitrites in that tank to complicate matters even worse you don't have any plants in your tank you see vacation food is packed with minerals and nutrients and it's designed to dissolve in water 
with so much vacation food right and so small amount of fish not to say that you need more fish to absorb that right but what i'm trying to say is that vacation food is not a good way to go about taking care of your fish when you're not there so the idea of the whole idea of uh you know you have some little automatic feeders in which you put on your tank to feed the fish when uh when you're not there right the issue with that is that just like a motor car sometimes you'll be driving and the motor car actually stop because the battery goes there's a short circuit in the fuse or there's something the automatic feeder do stop at times and sometimes it just stuck sometimes the feed just doesn't come out as well it should and sometimes too much feed actually comes out and so you might use the automatic feeder to feed your fish and you know on a day-to-day -day basis and it works but the moment you're going on vacation let's say you're going on three weeks four week vacation vacation and you put enough feed in there to serve that night a little bit each day yeah a little bit each whatever when you come back you see a fish dead simple put they, that doesn't really work no listen and this might sound cruel but it's best if when you're going on vacation it's best if you don't feed the fish than you feed the fish like that okay let me show you something with you you have live cultures in which you can use so as to feed your fish if you have ponds like me or if you have an aquarium that is planted you can actually create an ecosystem within that fish tank or fish pond that allows this life culture to actually propagate or should I say populate the tank so the fish will actually get live food whenever it's hungry such life culture include um, brine shrimp yeah brine shrimp and your fish can live within the tank right the fish will not eat unless it's hungry right so therefore if you have a whole but if you have a very big tank and a setup nicely set up right with oxygen and all that and you have a planted tank and you have some branching in it live branching swimming around right i remember that they populate right very easy given the good condition so therefore if you put some brine shrimp in your aquarium you know, they, they, you know they put them in your aquarium you'll find that they will propagate and they will actually um be able to sustain the fish depending on how many fish you have i'm going to be talking about um other alternatives soon so bear with me shortly all right so you have brine shrimp is one two infusion now i wouldn't recommend infusion if you are if you have an, an aquarium indoors why because the infusion uh the the, the the water itself is very stink stink i can't put it no no different it, it just not smell good it's like you get some lettuce you get some cabbage you get some other vegetables that is not citrus right so no no lime skin no mango skin no apple right vegetables even carrot you put in some water i put this water out in the open to actually stay there after a while you're going to see some white bubbles and some little things swimming in it those little things are infusion the thing about infusion is that you use that to feed small fish like goldfish fry guppy fry molly fry those small fish right so that's what i use to feed those type of fish okay so you have two alternatives right you have grand gym and infusion then you have the cultures in which you could use with regards to the potato i was talking about i was talking about this with the fishman since well during the course of the week of the the first of march right i think last week yeah i, I was talking to the fishman regarding this he shared with me he he had a video on this and and for those persons who are interested in creating their own culture i think you should watch his video um before i actually came on youtube i did something similar to that but um 
my culture actually died i don't know if i took too long to actually take it up or it just wasn't liking me much right you now what you would do you would get the potato you cut it in half you will cut up probably about a half inch in diameter hole within it so you take the knife and you, you peel it not half half inch you dig it down probably about uh an inch and a half depends on how big the potato is and you put it in some soil and the soil must always be um kept moist and after about probably about a couple of days give out a probably about a week right you will lift up that shake off the dirt and you will you know wash it off in some water and you should see some life culture swimming in there some little thing that the fish would like right those are excellent uh, in feeding your fish especially if you want your fish to grow right you also have what you call daphne and daphne i've shown you several instances where in which i have daphne and how i got them was from somebody who actually did um somebody who actually uh do fish keeping in jamaica i, I think I, I showed you that uh individual well not, not the individual itself but his farm right he does it in town I uh, within a urban space and he has issues with his neighbors right with regards to the you know the poisoning the, the fish the stealing the fish they doing all different time of things which actually makes matters worse for the fish actually um you know survive but he started a long time before me um from as early as uh from as early as i can remember right from the mid from the early 2000s he i saw his thing going on right i had fish but i never really um had a channel right and i never had so many fish so um that's it okay so daphne infusion life culture grind chain you can use this so as to feed your fish if you especially if you have a a planting tank now if you have large fish like me like oscar and jack Dempsey, and you're going there for a week you don't have to worry yourself you, you can just feed them change the water change the water probably both like you'll change probably 50 percent of the water today 50 percent of the water um probably two days time and then now you you um then after that you would feed them a healthy meal you don't have to feed them until you return so you must remember that when fish exist in the wild that sometimes they end up going out without a meal because they can't really get any meal right and all of this is based on the health of the fish so the fish is healthy you don't need to worry however for small fish now what will happen is that the larger fish will actually try to consume the smaller fish because there is no food so um this is where my advance is set in compared to yours in the sense that uh my fish lives in ponds and my ponds have daphne algae and other little insects which actually swims in it uh points to know during the course of this week i just never remember to get the feed for my fish and as I said, I, let, I leave out in the mornings very early and I return very late in the night. So I was wondering what I should give my fish. I mean, I had flakes, but I never have any pellets to feed my larger fish. So I was wondering what I should do. So I checked out and I saw where in which um, I had some rice, white rice, cooked white rice. So I was wondering whether or not I should give them it because, you know, upon research, it it suggests that white rice can be fed to the fish but it's not nutritious in this case I never remember to purchase the fish feed so therefore nutritious yes or no I just want something to make them feel full for at least a day and then now I will get the feed the other day in which I did so I is the first I've ever given my fish rice like white rice cooked white rice and it was cold too because it was coming from the fridge i gave it to my oscar and i was cleaning my tank a while ago i never see one grain of rice which suggests that it ate it right and i was cleaning my koi tank as a matter of fact before i even clean my koi tank i threw the amount of rice i threw in my koi tank my koi pan 
um it's amazing right because they are really large some of them like eight, eight inches ten inches really big right and some goldfish right and i was cleaning i changed some water this morning my wife is at odds with me because uh she's using the water and i have to use the water that is in the tank so therefore we are like struggling on sundays for water anyway we can come back to the argument rice has been consumed by my goldfish and my cod so i actually gave my dad them to some rice also and i realized that the night after and this is where this is something that is interesting and it also dawned on me this morning the rice was given to the Jack Dempsey, right? And was given to the car. The day after when I purchased the feed and I gave them the, the car stick, right? I realized that they, they never ate it. Neither the goldfish on the car, nor the Jack Dempsey, they never ate anything. So I'm wondering if the rice swell and I'm still a few full. But anyway, um, I changed the water um i changed the water for my jack dempsey last night and i'm going to change the water for my goldfish and my car so that's it with feed uh a point to note as i was talking about vacation right so you're going on vacation and you're wondering how is it that you're going to manage your fish stock it depends on how long you're going on vacation for me if i'm going on vacation it will be for a bit so I couldn't leave the fish unfed. I would pr practically come back to see most of them dead. Right? And when I said dead, I mean dead. Because if it was like one car in the pond, I could leave that for like probably three weeks. Don't feed it none at all. But you're talking about six guy, uh, 15 goldfish. Nah, enough, uh, enough algae. Not there for all of them. So what's the next option? The next option is to get a friend to feed them yes get a friend to feed them so therefore is that you have an option is either you actually ask the friend to come over to feed your fish or you actually take the fish and carry it to the friend that's the best option remember once you have the fish at home saying that it is your pet you are responsible for it a pet should not be an annoyance whenever the fish hobby for you become an annoyance it's no longer a hobby it's a burden and you know they they have the arm um, for those persons who go to church they say that burdens are lifted at calvary so you need to take out that burden and give it to somebody else right so uh once the hobby is something that you like you'll find that you find it easy to ensure that your fish stock is kept healthy so go on a vacation you have earned it but at the same time ensure that your fish is well taken care of this is really here for fish keeping jamaica i hope that you enjoy my little discussion it was really interesting bye bye see you next time